one yeah. one question here regarding when someone reaches retirement when they want to start taking income from their life insurance policy are we changing anything to, as it relates to the dividends the guaranteed growth of the policy in terms of where it's going right so let's assume it's a reduced paid up policy where there's no yeah. more insurance expense there's no more, no more base premium on it are we having the dividends pay the loan interest during those years or is the dividends increasing the cash value which when you look at the loan interest and how it compounds compared to the growth of the cash value that way you're getting more money long term and then when the insured graduates earth they pass away the compounded interest that red column would get minus from the death benefit you got it yeah and those illustrations too so that death benefit did account for the loan balance and loan interest too that was the net death benefit could you show that again yeah definitely i just want to the make sure i benefit. fully comprehend all right so if we just focus on the example to the right okay there's the death benefit when we start to take income so this death benefit accounts for the loan. So here. Right. So the moment I start taking income, well, yep. uh, even in the withdrawal years, mm -hmm. the death benefit is, is decreasing because of the, of the amount I'm pulling out. Correct. So the death benefit in gold to the far right represents the net death benefit. So it is deducting. Here's your loan balance right here in dark red. So right. if I die, this is the net amount that's paid to my beneficiaries income tax free. Mine, uh, so that is also including the loan interest column. Correct. That has, okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Because when we look at, you know, where it says, okay, a million eight, one million eight thousand four hundred. And if we look at the next year, it's 985. Well, if we did 1 million eight minus 985, that's way less than the $70,000 withdrawal I just took. Mm -hmm. Right, because so, you're, still, <laughs> you're still earning interest too is the right. thing. So yeah. we're still earning, even though it's going yeah. down slightly, yeah. it's not going down as much as my withdrawal. Co correct, initially, eventually you can see it Right. So down faster. Yeah. And so on a guaranteed basis, if we showed guaranteed what you could withdraw on income, would the in that example, would the cash value basically stay the same? No. So when you're pulling income, like it's still going to come down. It depends how much you project, really, as okay. far as income per year. Yeah. I mean, it, I could make it stay the same right? if I take a small dollar amount out, but it's typically typically going to decrease like. If I said, how much can I pull out based on the guarantees here? Just spitballing it, the same scenario might be closer to 35000 to 40000 without any okay. dividend. Even less okay. than that. Maybe. Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. So when we say, here's what you can pull out on the guarantees, what, yeah. what, we're, what we're saying is based on the guaranteed growth yeah. of the cash value, if you were to simply pull out what it's growing by, Mm -hmm. The policy would last forever. It's not going to lapse on you. C correct. So if we run, what's the max income I can pull, assuming dividends are never paid and only the guaranteed rate is applied? If you if you choose that as your income number, the, the net cash value will probably go up because you're still likely going to receive dividends and such. <laughs> right. But it's not going to lapse. Yeah. Despite the interest on correct on policy loans, right? Because correct. When